Hello everyone, this video vlog will be my entry for the M80X Classmates Context and because of that I'm going to start pre presenting myself. Uh, my name is Enrique and I'm from Spain and at this moment I'm 20 years old and I want to show you my project for this context. This is it. It's a ring oscillator with some LEDs and the LEDs are there because uh, them allows you to see the propagation de delay through the ring oscillator and in this little board are 11 inverters and I did those inverters with uh, most transistors and I built it with SMD components as you can see I didn't do it with the old-fashioned components because I, I want to show uh, curious people uh, these modern components and what can you do with them and all that stuff and I thought it will be more educative if I do it with SMD components as well so <laughs> that is why and if you want to know how I designed this little board and all that stuff follow me in this video blog thank you Okay, so I started my design with this. This is uh, the basic diagram of this circuit. The only requirement that I have is uh, that I need an even number of inverters because I need a 180 phase, the phase shift to have an oscillation on this circuit. And if we pick as our initial condition 0 here, then we will have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, etc. And as you can see, it will oscillate forever. And this is a very basic, basic uh, ring oscillator circuit. And I needed to design the inverter block, so I begin my design I begin my design using this basic inverter that we have seen a lot of times in this course and as you know from the course most of the transistors have a parasitic capacitor on his gate but that capacitor is very small it's about uh, picofarads and I needed a big capacitor because I, I was looking for a delay time that let me see the oscillation at naked eye without, or without an oscilloscope so I decided to use a 1 microfarad real capacitor that I put on the gate of each most transistor and as you may notice, each inverter is connected in series with another inverter, like in this uh, diagram. So, and because of that, this gate capacitor is charged by this drain resistor on each stage. So, and this capacitor is charged through this way and is discharged through this way and because the air on of these transistors is very small uh, the time constant for the discharging case is very small as well so we can neglect that and think that this capacitor is going to be discharged instantaneously through this transistor but in the charging case because I, I used a big capacitor on, on all the gates and I have chosen a very big resistor the time constant is very big, it's one second and because of that the transition time from 0 to 1 at the output is 0 0.11 seconds, 0 0.12 more or less and I did the calculations here for you and because each inverter has a 0.12 seconds delay 
The total delay time in this ring oscillator is 2 seconds more or less and uh, sorry I didn't tell you but the volt, the threshold voltage is 1 volt so here you can check the calcs if you want and that is all that I needed for my circuit to work but I needed to introduce uh, some LEDs one LED for each inverter because I wanted to be able to see the, the state on each inverter so I thought that the easiest way was doing it like this this is my basic inverter so I, I stick on it on its output another MOS transistor with its own LED and its own resistor and that is all I, <laughs> I just repeated this uh, basic building block 11 times on my circuit and I connected it in a ring oscillator configuration and instead of using one package for each of these transistors I bought these ones and this is the package this package has two transistors inside it so and it's, it is very cheap as you can see so I thought that this was the, the best way to, stick, to put the LEDs on my circuit and I did it this way and as you can see it is very nice to see it working you can see the delay very nicely and I did this because uh, it demonstrates the digital electronics delay and as Anand Agar will say this is the reason because we have to buy new computers every day and I thought that doing a circuit in order to demonstrate that was a great idea so I, I, I did it and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope you had a very nice course as I did and that you learned a lot <laughs> and I just want you to thank you for uh, take your time to see this video <laughs> and that is all for now so thank you very much for watching